down there. Ooh, we're out here. Here we go. Get these rods ready. Alright, so today we're going to do some fishing in Montana Del Oro. We're gonna try two things. We're gonna try bait fishing and uh, swim bait fishing. Today I'm out here solo bolo. Yeah, I always tell someone if you're going fishing solo bolo, especially rock fishing, just always let someone know what you're doing, where you're going, family or friends, you know. So for the swim bait, I got a what is this? A Shimano Corrado. Shimano Corrado on a swim bait rod. The fucking the Daiwa. XD or DXSB and it is rated ow, 3 to 10 ounces and 20 to 50 pounds. Ooh, that's heavy. But um, this should work good out here. This will be a fun little setup to throw. I'll show you the little swim bait I'm working on. The Texas rig I'm working on. I think you guys will like it. Oh, what the F? I went down the wrong trail. I should have ended up over there. I can see the I can see the trail over there. Fudge. It must have been just a little bit further than where I came off of. Dang. So where's this, oh, where's this gonna take me? Frig. Alright. Maybe I can just roll down the hill right here. Maybe if I just go limb. I can make it down there. Ah, I gotta go this way. Frig. All right. Dang, I know where this goes. I don't want to go this way. Oh, it's gonna take me the wrong way. It's supposed to be over there, dude. How did I miss this? Dang. Oh, now I got a sticker in my foot. Oh man. All right. It's the way she goes, boys. It's the way she goes. Alright, I'll see you guys down there. I made it down. Um, kind of lost where I was. I was up that hill right there. And I think this is where I want to come out on right here. Because I realized there's a little shelf, there's a little rock shelf right here to the left. That's where I usually fish. I didn't want to, oh, here we go, here's the edge. I didn't want to go there again. I wanted to try a different spot. But I finally explored, explored this whole uh, bluff trail. I realize that's probably the only this spot and maybe hopefully this spot would be the only good place to fish yeah this doesn't look too bad nice little pocket right there honestly from those rocks on the surf right there you can probably throw out and catch on that middle right there but all the way across that's where i usually fish i guess i'm just on the opposite side today i um, mean it seems like this is the only like really good area you can really get your line out because the whole the whole bluff is covered in like these rocks are like just slatted and like the shelves they point out and you can't really get too far out there you're basically just throwing your line on other top of okay oh nice Woo! this looks good i just gotta get down there somehow and i don't know if that's gonna happen let's see, let's see. oh oh look at this a nice little trail. Oh, straight up. Well, this is that's where I fucking want to be. So I guess I'll go down there. Okay. All right. Some boys and men. All right. Here we go, boys. Okay. So this looks pretty good. 
I'm gonna try to build my rig for you guys as fast as I can. Oh, nice little shelf area. Okay, cool. And then, I'll start swim bait fishing. That's the first thing I wanna do. And then I'll try the bait fishing. Bait fishing's more uh, if I give up on the swim bait fishing, you know? If I don't catch anything during when I'm or the swim bait, it's gonna be a punch weight, my revenge. These little guys, those things are cool, man. A little punch weight by revenge. Um, I wouldn't suggest getting these, these are a little expensive. Um, a bullet weight, you know, one of those, like a one ounce or half ounce bullet weight would do the same trick. Um, I got a bunch of them, all different sizes. But this is just for presentation value. I think that looks so freaking wicked. That is cool shit. Um, and also we have, crap, what do we have? We have, ooh, that looks so good. We got the Kitek Magwag. This little bad boy, you just pull this little tail off. And that gives me the pre presentation of a monkey face eel with that bad boy. That just looks too good. Um, I'm gonna work with that. That's what, I'm, that's what we're gonna do today. Awesome. So this is how you're gonna do this. Get your pegs. You're gonna take your line. Grab one of the pegs. And you're gonna put your line right through that. It has a little eyelet. Make sure you do that. And then you just grab your peg and just pull it through. Oh. This is a 30 pound line, so it's a little difficult. You gotta really slide it in there. And just slide that up out of your way. Once you do that, you're gonna take your little punch head. My revenge punch head. That thing looks so sweet. You're gonna run that through its middle. I'll throw that up. Now you're going straight to the hook. Where's my hook? And I believe this is a 7 aught, maybe even a 8 aught J hook. I never really remember. Once I take them out of the bag, it's, you know, it's anyone's guess. And then I'm just going to do a traditional fisherman's knot. This might be improved. right there inside that little ribbon. Boom. And then my little punch head comes down on that. And then you want to slide your peg all the way down to the punch head. Boom. Now you have your rig. Your little swim bait rig. And that looks freaking amazing. That's what we're gonna throw. This one, a little imitation of the monkey face eel is what I was trying to go for. This, so we'll give that a shot. Oh man, I got a lot of. There are a lot of spots I can work from. Um, I'm trying to think. Where am I not gonna get wet at? Right here looks a little rough, but it's the closest, so I might give it a shot. 
Um, to be honest, there could be fish right inside this little, right inside this, uh, this tide pool. That's a big tide pool right there. Oh, so it's not even a pool. It goes all the way out, comes all the way in. Dude. Um, oh, cool. Look at these rocks. These are the ones you eat crap on. Oh, no. This is all bad. Oh, no. This is all bad. Okay, well, we're going. Committed. But, um, you'll be sitting on these rocks if you're not careful, man. For real. Oh, cool, cool. It gets worse. One more time. This is what my bait looks like on the water. Nice curly tail. Okay, right here, I lost lost the audio, but I was just saying, look at this wave, it looks kind of big. So let me take a few steps back and see where it crashes on the rocks, but uh, it still got me, so. All right, here comes the first cast. All right, wasn't too bad. I might have thrown it over a rock or I didn't want to be on. So it's a little deeper than I thought it was. I'm bringing it back in right now. I'll give this another shot. Let it hit the bottom. Boom, there it was. Give it a couple of jigs as I'm reeling it in, kind of keep it off the bottom. If there's any fish there, hopefully they see it. I think I'm stuck on something, boys. Either that I got a fish on. Oh, I do, I got him. I got him. Oh, no. Where'd he go? Oh, off the swim bait, boys. Woo! Off the swim bait. Oh, yeah. What is he? Oh, he's a baby lean cod. Oh, yes. Yes, look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Well, he could be close, man. I'm looking for 22 inches on link cods. Oh, my God. I think it's beautiful. A blue link cod. We're going to go measure him. Hopefully, he's right in there, man. We'll catch and cook this guy. Okay. That is a beautiful fish. Look at that. <laughs> Oh man, he hit like a train, dude. I thought I was stuck on rocks. But that is a beautiful fish. All right, let's go measure him. Get this guy on hook. And then, oh, he kind of twisted that hook into his mouth, did he? Boom, hooks out. Let's get the tape measure going. Ooh, 22 inches. He looks short. He looks really short. Oh, yeah. He's 18. He's 
19 inches just three inches shy so we're gonna let him go he's a beautiful fish Oop, little rock on him. that is one beautiful fish dude All right, this is gonna be tricky because I don't want to get wet. I don't want to slip and fall. But we gotta get him back in the water. I see that wave coming, so we're gonna throw him from right here. Woo, he made it. All right, there he goes, I see him. Oh, he's gone. All right, let's get out of here. So I just got hit with another wave. Oh, this one was bad. This one soaked me like my shorts, my sweater. Woo. So I'm, I'm gonna see if I can find a new spot. I'm gonna go further down these rocks right here. Just in front of me. See if I can throw off another ledge that's a little bit safer. I was on this rock right here, right on top of it, and that that wave is just a little bit more stronger. I could have probably took my feet, and I would have ate shit. I would have rolled probably in the ocean. Who knows? I could have been real bad. But man, my shorts are heavy. Oh no, I need to take my wallet out. Crap. Oh, my wallet is soaked. Shit. All right. Well, I'm gonna get back to the bag and reanalyze this, and we might have to walk down a little bit further. Cool. Alright, there's some cover right here. I see a little rock right in the middle. I want to cast past it and troll. We're kind of reel in, retrieve slow right next to it. See, like, there's this big rock right here. Hopefully that shields me from the waves coming in. Um, doesn't look too bad, but if you notice one thing, everything's wet right here, so that means the waves are coming up here and splashing around, so I want to take that into consideration. Um, there's a little ledge right here. Hopefully I can catch that if I do get wet swept out hope i can just land on this ledge and not go any further but it looks pretty deep right here too so i want to give this a shot and honestly in all reality you can literally catch fish right there in that little pocket if you're bait fishing but we want to do some casting and reeling so that's what we're gonna do i think this looks pretty good right here too let my bait hit the ground Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh shit. Oh. Well, I was wondering when that was gonna happen. Okay, well, I'm really stuck. So I'm gonna just make this in the drag up. Well broke that guy off so and that revenge punch head i think it's like seven bucks for like a pack of two so that's why i wouldn't recommend using using those i mean they're great i would use them if i'm, I'm using them but i mean for price wise i'd say just use a bullet head or something simple like that um i will be trying a bullet head right now actually so I switched out my rig. I'm going to use this Magwag, this Moonlight Blue. This next round. Um, crap. And then I just used a regular bullet head for this one. I think that's one and a half ounces. It might be one ounce. But I'm just going to use that this time. It should work the same. hours I've been here since 8 and that's 12 30 already um, I hit that short lane cod uh, I couldn't make anything of it though uh, I tried to fan cast um, off this point I was at off this other point and I just gonna I just gonna bring any more in I'm kind of trapped here I couldn't go any further to the right it was a nice 
a nice rock to the right. Uh, the waves are too big. The waves are 47 feet today, and they just can't, they just won't calm down. Uh, right now, it should be the lowest, low tide right now. It should be the lowest of the low tides. And it's still coming over the top. Uh, I'm soaked. My sweater's soaked. I'm kind of like, kind of, I'm done. Uh, but on a nice day, say it feels like two to four swells, two foot foot waves, man, this would be prime. We can go all the way up and down the rocks. There's a lot of, there'd be a lot of prime place, man. But right now, I can only fish off the two corners. And I did all I could there. Um, I'm just not getting any more love. I think the bite's off. So, I'm packing up and I'll try this place. I'm definitely going to come back to this place and try it again. With different jigs and different setups. But, we figured out that the little mag wag works. Is it up? Mag wag. Kai Tech Magwag. This thing is beautiful. Ooh, looks like I got bit right there. Um, I did have this guy come all the way down to the hook. So I did get, I got one more bite. I, I missed him. This, this is a seven inch, seven inch bait. And that's a lot, that's a lot of fucking, that's a lot of tail there. So short bites, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna miss your short bites, of course. But if you have one that fully commits, you're, you're hooked up. Just like that, little, that baby lean cod. That guy committed and I hooked him, I bring him in. So, um, next time we come out here, I might try the magwag again. I got some other things I want to try, show you guys how we can use them out on the rocks. Um, we'll go from there, man. We'll keep doing this. Alright, I'm all packed up. Let's get out of here. If you don't leave any trash behind, we're all good. I'm the hard part. See if I can't get out of this. That looks pretty gnarly coming up this thing. There, boys. Better luck next time, man. We'll get him next time for sure. Get us a keeper.